And I like a start with eye formation. So yep. they've obviously done their homework. It's a confident start from the Italians. It's like uh, Nuria pretty happy with herself. She put that first volley away. I'm expecting a lot of... Uh, Movement from Roger Vaslan, the net, trying to cross a lot. Service motion from uh, Forty, Kaboli. Forty. Looks very natural. Nice racket head speed. It's one of the young guns coming up. Will be in the main draw of the Australian Open, I believe. Yeah, that's Italy. a positive start for Team Italy. Always important to get off First to a good game. start, Casey. We know you're a, a mixed doubles guru, the 2011 French Open champ. Give us a, a bit of insight about what you think is important in in being a good mixed doubles player. Yeah, well, um, you're both very well equipped to probably speak on this too, but I feel like as um, the woman, it's really, really important to get a high percentage of first serves in, allow, oh, and for, the, for both genders, to be honest, first serve percentage in any case, but it just allows your partner to get involved around the net, and, you know, cutting off angles as it always in doubles, positioning and all that matters. Obviously, the experience of Roger Vasselin here is going to be uh, pretty crucial, but how exciting is it to see also Caboli play and... Brancaccio, the ones that are coming through and that's, I guess, in this format we get to see some new faces and some new players that I'm sure we'll see on tour for many years to come. Certainly will. Flavio Caboli. If you can get some more uh, painkillers for his head, he already got them, but he needs them again. Thank you. Mm. I think uh, Roger was a little bit of a headache happening. A few more painkillers for his head. <laughs> Oh, we dehydrated. Well, he's also a playing captain, yeah. isn't he? So he's sitting Fitting. down here. Stressful, isn't it? It is. He's watched two singles matches. Had to do a lot of thinking. <laughs> That's why probably he's got a headache. Oh, he's not used to doing that. <laughs> He had a few uh, hiccups on his serve, remember, the other day. That's right. In the mix, in the second set, he played a brilliant first set. In the second set, he just went missing in action a little bit against Kerber and Sasha Zverev. And this is a, 
pretty important because Caroline Garcia gets a bit of a break. So doesn't their number one singles player, who is very, very good in doubles, can have a, have a rest in preparation for the quarterfinals. Let's was quite an intense uh, single she played not long ago. And she'll need that time, that's for sure, to be fresh for the quarters. One thing which is really important, I think, also in mixed doubles is that the girl has a decent return. That helps to make it. I remember that's what you always told me. Make it, Bubsy, make it. <laughs> so much pressure. Did you listen to him, Bubsy? <laughs> I did, but only because we weren't a couple then. <laughs> I wouldn't now. <laughs> oh, it's very accurate okay. serving, and that's what he's known for, Roger Vassalan. One game all. It is a very important thing, isn't it? Because when you can accumulate some pressure on return of serve, and even if you just are making them somehow, it really does start to put a bit of pressure on the server. And the first point of every game is extremely important in this format where it's a deciding point. Yeah, that's right. Early points are so crucial because if you can get yourself to juice, it's a lottery. Oh. Caboli has uh, some good hands. Uh, no surprise, most of the Italians do. Yeah, yeah it's, it's great to see the, this younger generation playing more doubles again. Uh, it was interesting for me last night. Donna Vekic, Team Croatia, has only played 51 matches in her entire career in doubles. And I just sometimes think... It's, yeah, it certainly helps uh, your singles as well, doesn't That's it? Similar. Well, the extra returning, the extra serving, also with volleys especially, the transition to the net. But you can make a lot of extra cash and um, work on your game and as opposed to going for an hour practice session, play a live match. So I, I think we're seeing this younger generation see the value in playing doubles and mixed doubles more and more so. Thirty fifty. The Italians have a, a very strong legacy of being super competitive, don't they? Whether it's coming through challenger level or just club matches or just playing, it's part of their culture over there. They love to get involved with club land. Yeah, the, the men's team just winning the recent Davis Cup and of course the female team having a lot of good players over the last Ladies decade, Casey. I mean, this is where it gets it's it gets difficult doesn't it on the on the female service game the the guy needs to be active proactive up at the net without overplaying Forty. Yeah, for Roger I think it's important. He, he wants to cross, he wants to be creative and active, but that he doesn't do too much. Caboli and Team Italy hold and lead 2 1 first set. I have 
Dehydrated, huh? I'm sure it's not. That's when I get the headaches as well, and it is humid today. It was humid yesterday as well. I don't think he's gotten any painkillers, so that's what he wanted. It's always a trap for young players coming out from Europe, and it it hasn't been that warm here in, in Sydney at all. It's been really comfortable conditions, but it's still the humidity. These guys would be warming up and practicing on an outside court, coming in here where it doesn't feel that hot. of uh, Kaboli's shots from the baseline. Aggressive, but still with uh, a lot of spin. Renzo Furlan, he is the team captain for Italy. A very good player. He would have played against him in the past. He didn't play much doubles, though, didn't he? No, but he was a, a very classy player, like, as you would expect, most Italians, very stylish. Best restaurants were 15. whichever <laughs> city or town you were playing in. You could always count on Team Italy for a good feed. Casey gave me a good tip for an Italian restaurant the other day. Did you go? I uh, couldn't get in. Couldn't get in, yeah. Trying tonight, maybe. Unless you have connections, <laughs> maybe you can give them a call. I think your name has. <laughs> Not in Sydney. <laughs> Beautiful. Really good eye here from Bolivio. Yeah, I'm really impressed by the Italians so far. They're really keen to get the win out here. As mentioned earlier, it's so important to get a win on the board, but I really like liking watching Caboli play at the moment. Loving his ground strokes, loving his vision at the net. Just hesitated a little bit there. Forty. You have to take a quick decision if you want to transition to the net. And, uh, pushing me up. Just doing that a little bit too slow. Great timing with the cross. And that's the first break. In Italy, 3-1 first set. Set up from the return, it was it was aggressive, it was deep enough. That enabled Goboli to be involved.
point of the match. And he is a rising star, Flavio Caboli. Just brilliant ball striking. Great timing as well. It's been so great to see all of these mixed doubles where you get all four players all involved, and that was a great point there where all four players and using the lob, isn't it? Changing up the, the pace. Awesome. Francaccio getting involved now. And she's uh, alert at the net, trying to get involved. I like that. Again. Can do no wrong. She's expecting the volley, which is important. Big smile on her face, too. It is really well executed. Just cuts under it to perfection. Cooks it. So it's a strong start here from Team Italy Off to a 4 1 lead. Just the one break, though. Four games to one. Oh, so much to see and do around this wonderful capital city of New South Wales, Sydney. Let's head on, head on out to Manly, the home of the great Sir Ian Walter Masua, who lives out right on. The Manly Wharf there, as you get the ferry across from Circular Quay, do a spot of surfing and frequent the restaurants and coffee shops. Such a relaxed vibe around the Sydney beaches. And you can see straight back into the CBD city here, this harbourside capital of New South Wales. Doesn't get much better. Vassalan. Got to 35 in the world in singles. I must remember had, had great success on the singles court, but did win the US Open, the, the French Open doubles back in 2014 with Julian Benito. And in fact, Edward Roger Vassalan's father made the semis of Time. the French Open back in 1983. Beat Jimmy Connors along the way. Lost to Yannick Noah. Incredible your knowledge, Josh. The tennis family. like I've been playing for years yeah. together. Maybe they have been. It's only two years apart. Good try. That's also extremely important. And doubles and it mixed doubles to go down the line a lot on the returns to set a signal. Be aware to the person at the net.
How great is it to see both of them charging the net and Vaseline when he's stuck back there and they're both at the net, just crowding the net. He's missed a few. Well, this is a dire situation right here for Team France. They have to find a way to hold here. Well, it's a deciding point, so Team Italy still with another break point opportunity here on return. <laughs> Didn't miss by much. No, but, but smart. I mean, even though he's missed that, he gave it a shot, he gave it a go. It's not that often you see a player wear glasses. We haven't seen a lot of that on tour. Casey? No, we don't, do we? But I feel like having seen a little bit of a play, I think maybe perhaps inside, I definitely think it's, they're obviously prescription ones, but also they did actually just turn the lights on in here at change events. That's what Roger Vaselin was talking to the umpire about. They actually were off, but it seemed to be getting a bit dark outside, so the light flicked on, and it's a lot easier to see out here now. I remember Martina Lavratilova, she wore glasses because she couldn't wear contacts on the court. Try again. She likes to go down the line, doesn't she? Brancaccio. He's only 21, Caboli, but uh, he certainly has a good feel what to do on the court natural instincts. Yeah, I think when you see a, a classy player, they seem to have a lot of time on the court when they're out there playing, and he certainly has a lot of time to play his own game style. Been unlucky there. I have a feeling that the Italians may have played some mixed doubles before because they're doing hand signals. They have a really good understanding. And I don't know about you, but I always found using hand signals and that it took a while to find a partner that you were comfortable doing that with. Yeah, that's right. That's not easy. And we, we've seen it in the, in the Labor Cup. I remember when uh, Roger and uh, Rafa played together and Rafa was getting a bit confused with the hand signals. We never used hand signals, didn't we? Oh, it's dropped in. Well, just cap gets the back of the line, and that is a break back. Well, it's been Italy who have been dominating. But France now hit back, and we're on serve. 4 3, first set. No, we didn't use a lot of hand signals, just the thumbs up. If, we, if you, you did something well, I'd give you the thumbs up. <laughs> yep. You wouldn't use that finger always, <laughs> the thumbs up. But, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun. And it looks like they're having fun as well. 
Strong team, Team France, that's for sure. Adrian Manorino winning the men's singles early on today. Very, very impressive. It's just so skillful against Lorenzo Sonigo. 6-4, 6-4. And then France's number one player, Caroline Garcia, was pushed all the way by Jasmine Paolini. That was 6-4 in the third. So Team France up to love in this group stage. Uh, Lorenzo Sonigo, real talent, a real delight to watch. A very popular figure amongst Team Italy. Yeah, they all they seem to get along so well. They are always smiling. They're always happy, and we've seen it last year when uh, Musetti and Berrettini was in the team. Trevisan, Sinna, Sinna, they got along so well. You get the feeling this is a very crucial game in this match. 4-3 as we're getting towards the end of the opening set. Important here for Lushimia to try and hold, otherwise it'll be a chance for Caboli and Team Italy to serve out that first set. Too good. Gee, Casey courtside, that would have been an absolute delight. Oh, I love that. I obviously am a bit biased with the left-handers. <laughs> <laughs> Played this shot many times throughout my career, but how great that she put so much spin on this. So it's over the head and goes well in. Beautifully played. Solid as a rock. of play here for Team France. They've leveled this opening set at four, four all. Games on. And Caroline Garcia, well, she is loving life. Just strolling around with the French flag, feeling very happy with her work, and that is a wonderful sight here at the United Cup. Caroline Garcia and Team France on top in this tie. 15. She's Caroline Garcia, her favorite smiley bucket heads. And just such a, a quality player, Garcia, to have in your team because we know that she's 
been one of the best doubles players in the world. Been as high as number four in singles. So a real asset for Team France. No problems for the young gun Flavio Gaboli and Team Italy move ahead. 5-4, first set. here in the off-season. In fact, went on a trip to Antarctica. Got to see her experience jumping into the <laughs> freezing cold waters. It's a different holiday destination. Most players go to, go to places which are a little bit warmer, like the Maldives. She's an explorer. Had to be a winner, and he did so well with the footwork to get around. They were, they were so far ahead of court position. Well, look at that, how he runs around his back and creates the angle there. Bit of trouble. Love 30 on serve. Great return. I would love to see Brancaccio just a little bit up more on second serve. You've got to expect the ball to come at you if Caboli's going to make that return. She just got stuck with it at her toes. Bit of an opportunity there. Racket work, but yeah. I'm just not so sure that that was the right play there from Bancaccio going back to Roger Vassalan yep. a few times there at the net. You have to always target the woman 
most of the time anyway. It's just too much experience there from Roger Vaslan. Sneaky little cross here, and that is deciding a deciding point, which is a set point for Team Italy and a game point for Team France. That's unreturnable, isn't it? That's just such accurate serving from Roger Vassalan. Five all first set. Um, I mean, it's the right thing to do to go down the line, but those, sometimes uh, Don Caccio is um, out of position. Just has to tidy up her footwork a little bit. Timed it to perfection, when to step in. And, uh, we all know it's so crucial not to go too soon. Oh, Brent Caccio really needs another first serve here because there's two last two points. Much, much better for Team Italy when she can just get a first serve in. Oh. Yeah, point in case right there. Good numbers on serve. 80% of points won when that first serve goes in for Team Italy. Similar number there for France as well. All right, pressure, yes. pressure point right the here. Point. A deciding point. Team Italy, Italy who hold on six games to five. and push ahead. 6 5 first set. Pretty cool customer, Flavio Caboli. I mean, this must be so much motivation for him to see Italy winning the Davis Cup going so well. With the uh, Sina Musetti Berrettini in the past, he's been injured a, a little bit, so you can probably think I can do this too. That's right. Just being around this group environment, they have a, a wonderful team spirit. We know that they've been out to a few dinners this week, where the whole 17 of the team and the extended support staff go. 
anche su Rocheva Slam meglio metta la prima però è ancora più importante di Nando adesso mandare sta rispondendo bene And I think it, it helps also, you know, they're working together and not against each other. Attenta allo slice, perché a te piace andare col dritto, ma ti verrà, ti verrà così. Quindi ti conviene andare di anticipala bene, vai decisa e manda il braccio. Dai, time. Oh, lovely time. Really picked a spot on that return. Second serve from Lushemia. Of course, he's going to go for it. Doesn't he look like he belongs in, on the, totally. the big stage? Kaboli. He, he feels so comfortable out there. He um, wants to show everyone what he's got. Right idea. 15. The other key in mixed is to really commit to the shot. You just mentioned it there, Babsy, but just around, doesn't you, you expect there to be a lot of movement. So whether you're going to go hard and fast through the middle of the court or down the line on return of serve, if you pick your spot, you've just got to go for it. And I feel like Brancaccio is just probably a little bit nervous, but just a bit, little bit hesitant on her returning. Nothing hesitant about that. Two winners in a row for Caboli. This is almost premeditated, isn't it? He would think before that serve is coming that he knows clearly he's going line. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Casey. Mancaccio, she just has to commit to the shot and Irada just hit it long and hard and uh, return think, like that. I think sometimes if you're having a hard time as a female returning, I think sometimes get the male player to come back so you, that will stop the net guy from crossing as much. Lahimia. 14. 14. Oh, it's great reaction. Too good. And team France. Yeah, like to, the way she moved forward to hit that volley. Six games all. Machine, yeah. Tie break. It's all open in this first set. Who do you give the edge, Josh? I think the Italians have been more on top so far in this first set. They've won three more points in total, so it's been very close, of course, but I think Caboli has played exceptionally well. This forehand, gee, it's a weapon. He can really rip and he can hold it until he sees the opponent commit to a certain side.
Good put away, wasn't it? She's super aggressive at the net now. Ushimi, isn't she? One -oh. I like that. She's committed to put them away. She would get a, a lot of advice there from Roger Vesla. Interesting cross there. Well, it was really great awareness from Nuria. Yeah, just continuing to pepper the shimmer at the net. And just put a little bit more pace and a little bit more intent and commitment, and that's the difference. Flowing, quite a natural ball striker. Three one, Timmy Tully. Brancaccio. Yep, well done from Roger Vassalan here. He just could sense things getting, a, getting away from them in this tie break. Captain needs to step up and he's delivered. Disappointment there for Brancaccio. One more lob was in order. Three all. Yep, it was three in a row. No square in this match again. You can watch on the big screen as well, right here at Ken Rosewell Arena. A lot of the patrons enjoying a food and beverage facility, catching all the action. What's going on inside here at Ken Rosewell Arena? get it cleanly but he used a fair bit of frame on this drop volley. 4-3 Team France. shoulder a few times uh, the other day as well when he played that deciding mixed doubles he 
head's hurting, the shoulder's hurting. Check it. Italy is requesting Marivi on a call on the right yeah. pass a line. By call team France. Well, Alexan probably thought this was enough. That was going to be a winner, but great athleticism from Caboli to get a lot of racket onto it. from Caboli early in the rally. Big Five team Italy in this first set tie break. But I, I really like, even though they didn't win the point of the French team, Lashimia is getting involved. Looks a lot more certain at the net now compared to the beginning of the match. from Lashimia at the net. That was rifled. Team France. Lafferty. serves first of course at the end of each set you can nominate either player to serve first from that end and Roger Vassalan is opening the proceedings oh. 30 50 strong year in 2023 winning five titles in doubles two of the master series that's the big ones on the ATP tour. Oh, her overhead is outstanding. 40 for team. Alexander Shimia. She also with the ball, she really sticks them now. This match has gone on. Has Lushimia. First game. Yeah, also, she's uh, faking a little bit more at the net. Uh, there's uh, more footwork happening, and there's then more doubt coming up in Team Italy. Where to go? Sometimes uh, I think Caboli thought she was going to cross, but she didn't. Yeah, just keeps moving forward. Very capable at the net. Been as high as 65 in the world in singles and is currently inside that top 100. So gets into all the grand slams.
tennis such a big sport in France. A lot of, a lot of players are members of local clubs. Thirteen. Off this one, a fraction. Just moved the upper body too quickly. Lost the eye of the court as well. Happy. It. 40. <laughs> One way on the ground. You can't fault Cavoli's commitment <laughs> here. He has been absolutely everywhere throughout the entirety of this match. <laughs> what a dramatic fall. <laughs> way more dramatic in slow-mo too, don't you reckon? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> game, Team Italy. Well, that's a good hold from Team Italy. Under a little bit of pressure on that service game. One game on. Nice reflexes on the first one from Roger Vasla. Not so much on the second. Fifteen.
miss it. But uh, put pressure on uh, Team Italy, came to the net. He hasn't miss hit much today. He's been really good with the forehand. Just decelerates a fraction. Tried to hit it to the feet, I think, of Lushimia. Yeah, this is a wonderful Case point, isn't point. it? Set up by this return, it gets it dipping nice and low. That enables Kaboli really to push forward here. Big step forward, you'll see. Gets it right out in front, nice and high. So a deciding point. Cross again from the experienced campaigner players. Roger Vasselin and it's Team France who continue France domination here. Two one. Seven six two one. Well, plenty of action around Sydney over the last week or so, but especially here on this fabulous Sydney Harbour, the Hopra House. And of course, the famous Harbour Bridge where you can do a bridge climb. Check out all the action down there around Circular Quay where all the ferries go in and out. And of course, the iconic Opera House where they still have many performances throughout the course of the year. And just such a picturesque sight where those pictures always go around the world with bringing in the new year on Sydney Harbour. <laughs> Seen plenty of glimpses of what is to come for Flavio Caboli and Nuria Brancaccio. Really talented ball strikers. Played particularly well so far in this match. It's only been a few points, the difference. Yeah, especially in the first set, they had that lead, couldn't hold on to it. But we know in mixed doubles how quickly the momentum can change. This is far from being over. Love that move from uh, Roger Vasselin. So familiar when to cross, what to do at what time. Love 
13. Bit of pressure here on uh, Nuria Bukacha's serve. Got it. Love Fultz. Really moving a little bit too early. It's always all about timing, isn't it? Missed it, but most of them she has made so far in the match, so we just have to move on. Still like it when she gets involved at the net. In the second set, Team Team putting himself into a Three games very comfortable win. position. Flexes though from Alexandra Lishimia at the net once again. Have a look at that, how she blocks it. And uh, what she does really well, she just moves closer and closer to the net. That's what you got to do. Great depth on that return. Well, hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt them. That was a costly miss. Volley beautifully today. Mishimia sitting on top of the net, just got a little too eager. play from Kaboli, not just going one back, but the next one again. And Ashimia is, if I was Team Italy, it'd just be targeting that backhand volley of Ashimia. I think she's quite comfortable moving off that forehand volley side, but the backhand gets a little bit tight. Yes. All right, so it's a deciding point here.
mistake of it this time it's up at net and that is an important hold for team france they consolidate the break france and lead one set to love and 4-1 second set about things team France really taking more initiative in this doubles more creative that's one there So plenty of joy in Team France. They won both singles a little earlier on the day. Adrian Manorino too strong and too crafty for Sonego 6464 and Caroline Garcia. They're getting it done against Jasmine Paolini in three tough sets, 6-4 in the third. And going along beautifully in this mixed doubles. Ashimia and Roger Vassalan up a set and 4-1. That back and volley, That's Casey was mentioning pitching. before. Here. We've seen flashes of brilliance from Nuria all afternoon and certainly a very capable player and I would expect her ranking to really keep pushing up higher. Service game. There was a much needed hold from Team Italy. Team I agree with you, Josh. And I think for Braccio, I think you the value of this match for her is insurmountable in terms of her career. Just playing on a big court, representing a nation. So so valuable in terms of a player's development and just having that experience. So I think she'll be so much better for this because I agree there's been times where I've thought her awareness and instincts have been great and then other times just slightly nervous and perhaps not on her on her game so much. No, I think it's um, not just this event is not just necessarily being around your own team, which is, of course, invaluable, but also 
up close and personal with all the teams here at this event. You, you get to live it and breathe it and see what the very best are doing. So definitely for a player of her ranking, I think it's, it's massive. Oh. So playing on a on a court like this, she would have probably never played in front of uh, so many people and in such a big stadium. What a great experience this is, and motivation it should be as well. Comfortable yeah, service go. hold for Team France. They're one game away. 7-6, 5-2. Team France leads five games to two. Well, it's been a great performance here at Ken Rosewell Arena, but in this iconic state, New South Wales, some of the best sightsee sightseeing tours you can do is catch the ferry from Circular Quay over to Taronga Zoo. Get to see a lot of the native Australian wildlife. It's been a real hit with the players here, that's for sure. They've all been out to Taronga Zoo and got to hold the koala, get up close and personal with a few kangaroos amongst some of the other animals. And I know the Australian snakes seem to scare off a few of the internationals. So. Taronga Zoo, a real hot spot here in Sydney. Team France very much have been well captained and well played from Edouard Roger Vasselin on the right there. It's been pretty Solid all afternoon as a captain and, of course, even better as a player Time. here. 7 6, 5 2 lead. Just one game away to get the clean sweep here in Group D. early enough.
40, 50. Game, Team Italy. Well, it's always the important thing to do is hold serve so you force Team your France opponents to have to serve out and close out a match. So, match now on the racket of Team France. Oh, it's so good. Love We've seen flashes of brilliance all afternoon from Flavio Caboli, and this is one of the best forehands he's hit all afternoon. Look at the exhilaration he still has there. He flicks the wrist. Let's very talented player. here on the surf from Roger Vasselin. Good old momentum. This could be a moment where it could change. Well, again, it's the backhand volley, isn't it? Yep. Lashumia, she just does not look as comfortable or in control on that backhand volley side. Gee, that didn't respond much. Actually, looked into me, but lucky there for the French team. Good cross here. Thirty-one. Shimi just holding that cross until the last moment. So nice little recovery here. Back to thirty all. it late. Mm. 13, also, 14. It, I mean, it's a double-handed back and volley, isn't it? I'm not a huge fan of that. It can happen when you have to block. If you have time, it's easier to move forward when you have a single-hander. She's overcooked it again. So a few nerves here from Team France. And it's Italy back on serve. Team France leads 7-6, 5-4. France leads five games, two four. Seven, four. Brava Nuri. Oh, primo punto, Fla. Oh, 
little bit of a fight back here from Team Italy. It was France who was serving for the match. A couple of loose volleys yeah. from uh, Lushimia at the net there. Yeah, possibly a few nerves, of course, for anyone trying to fin out a, finish out a match. It's Time. The, the hardest thing to do. Back on serve. Stay away from the middle, of course, Roger Vaslan is going to get involved. Yeah, I don't think they want Kaboli hitting too many forehands. It's been lethal this afternoon. Mm. Oh. Great reactions from Lashimia here. Well, to be able to stay in the rally. Now we're peppering Lashimia here. Excellent vision of the reactions. And I think purely the fact that she missed a few in that last game, she's switched back on and ready for everything now. Fifteen, thirty. Thirty. Generate some serious kick and work off that serve out to the ad court. They're hanging in there, the Italians. They were the ones that break up in the first. She gets it. it. Didn't have much room to work with. Had to be yes. absolutely perfect. Deciding point. And this is massive. It's deciding point. So it's either a match point for Team France or a game point for Italy to stay alive in this match. Oh, this time they get it. It is Team France with the clean sweep. Straight sets winners in the mixed doubles. 7 6 6 4. And they have played very well all tie here today at the Ken Rosewell Arena. Yeah, they were just a little bit more brave at the end. Team France. Have to win. And a clean sheet against Italy today. Two singles matches and this one mixed doubles is going their way. Just a little bit uh, more experienced, Vasna and uh, Lushimia in the 
this encounter. And I love this, how they shake hands with the opposition. Real thrill for these players to be able to get the opportunity to represent, play for their country here at the United Cup in Sydney. And they'll be feeling pretty confident as they have secured a spot in the quarterfinals. Not to be for Team Italy. They put up a brave fight and great to see some emerging stars and talent come out of Team Italy. But it's the experience of Caroline Garcia, Adrian Manorino and their captain, playing captain, Eduard Roger Vasselin, who were very good today. Straight sets winner. 7-6, 6-4, and a little bit over an hour's play. Plenty of celebrating going on, as they know they have moved on through to the quarterfinals. All right, Casey Delacqua is courtside with our winners. Well, I might start with you, Alexan, because it was great to see you out here. You've obviously supported your team and you've been practicing. How great was it to get out here and, and play with Edouard today? Uh, yeah, it was actually amazing to play with Edouard, because he's such a good doubles player, and I'm so proud to play for my country. I've never played Fed Cup or anything, and it was actually the first time playing for France, so it's, it was just an amazing feeling to be on court today. I'm super proud of our team for the great effort today. And you actually played superbly well, and obviously you are very comfortable around the net. Was there a few nerves going into the match today? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, again, because I'm playing with such a good player, you know, you want to be at the right level. And also, yeah, I really wanted to play and like to win the third point for the team. And uh, yeah, and also I had like uh, tough nerves at the end, like finishing the, the match. It was, I really want to make the volley, and, and, but yeah, it, it ended well. Yeah, well, you did a great job, Edward. Um, you've been playing captain all week, um, being on the court. Um, but how great was it to finish, you know, 3-0 and really uh, solidify that win for France? Yeah, that's a really, really nice uh, win for us. I mean, uh, all the matches are really, really tough. We played against a really, really uh, tough um, team. Uh, yeah, in singles, they played really, really well. Adrian and uh, Caroline, they did their, a very, very tough match. So we had no pressure at 2-0, at but uh, we still wanted to win, win but, because it's always where we are so competitive. So once we are on court, we want to win for us, for the team, for everyone who is support us. So it was, uh, it was tough again, uh, a sweet condition. <laughs> I'm sweating a lot, but yeah, it was important to get the first win. As she mentioned, it was the first time for her to play for a country. So it's always important to play well and to try our best. And uh, we are yeah, really happy to get uh, the win today. And lastly, um, you have got a lot of um, French supporters out here that have come to support you during the week. Um, you have qualified for the quarterfinals. So how excited are you to be going into another, um, have another opportunity uh, to keep going here at the United Cup? No, definitely. We, that's, that was the goal when we arrived. We want to win every matches, every tie. Uh, we are really happy to get through the, the quarterfinal. We need to uh, get some rest today and be ready for tomorrow, but we'll be ready. We'll be ready. We, are, we know we are a strong team, but uh, we know every match are tough. And for sure, we hope we get some support again, uh, I think, tomorrow, if we play tomorrow. So thank you, everyone, for coming. Well, everyone, give it up for Team France. Well, thrilled to be through and a great result there for Team France. And in particular, Alexandre Lechimia, first time representing France. So a, a really monumental day 
there for Alexan and played brilliantly. As we take a look at some of the numbers there, Barbara, it really was an impressive display from all four players, but in the end, probably just the experience I felt of Eduard Roger Vasselin and on those break points, they certainly took their opportunities, Team France, and Italy had the opportunity at stages throughout that match, and we saw glimpses of the future in terms of Flavio Carboli, the way he can strike that forehand. But overall, a very impressive performance, you would say, from Team France. Yeah, very solid performance from uh, Team France. Uh, high at the centre of the first serve. I think that's one of the biggest keys in uh, doubles. If you uh, look at the total points, there's only two points in between 70 for uh, Team France and uh, 68 for Italy. Great experience for the Italians, though, but it's uh, Team France who's through. Let's just have a look at today's results here. Ken Rosewell Arena, it was Adrian Manorino who was at his absolute finest earlier today. Crafty as usual, and he was just too good for Lorenzo Sonego. 6-4, 6-4, and of course, Garcia getting through along with the mixed doubles. Let's take a look at the groups. That's Group D in the middle there. France have had two wins, so they're safely through. Norway through in Group F in what was an absolute nail-biter and Group B, that will be coming up a little bit later, so that will be determined in the night session. So this is what is coming your way tonight here on Ken Roseville Arena. We've got Stefanos Tsitsipas up in action. Great to see him in action up against Steven Diaz, Maria Sakkari. Well, that'll be an absolute cracker up against Leila Fernandez, followed by the mixed double. So it's Greece taking on Canada in the last group match of the group stages here at the United Cup. It's been a brilliant day's play here. The day session where it's been Team Italy up against Team France. We saw lots of flamboyant shot making and lots of brilliance in all three matches. Adrian Manorino getting it done. Caroline Garcia too good in her singles. And it is Team France safely.